if your vehicle isn't idling properly and you're starting to suspect a bad idle air control valve, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll walk you through the symptoms of a failing idle air control valve and explain how it works so you can better understand what's going on under the hood and how to fix it. What is the idle air control valve? Most modern fuel-injected vehicles are equipped with a throttle body, which controls how much air flows into the engine. Inside the throttle body is a butterfly plate, a metal flap that opens when you press the gas pedal, allowing more air into the engine. That air is mixed with fuel, and the engine responds accordingly. But when you let off the gas, the butterfly plate closes, restricting airflow. At that point, the engine still needs some air to keep running, especially at idle. That's where the idle air control valve comes into play. The vehicle's computer takes control and uses the idle air control valve to manage airflow when the throttle plate is shut. Here's how it works. The idle air control valve is connected to small air passages that allow air to bypass the closed throttle plate. Inside the valve, there's a small diaphragm or motorized mechanism that opens and closes in response to the engine's needs. Based on engine RPM and other sensor inputs, the computer adjusts the idle air control valve to let in just the right amount of air to keep the engine idling smoothly. In short, the idle air control valve allows controlled airflow around the closed throttle plate, keeping your engine running properly when you're not pressing the gas pedal. Important to note that not all vehicles are equipped with an idle air control valve. Many newer models use what's called an electronic throttle body instead. In those systems, the computer directly controls the butterfly plate inside the throttle body, so there's no need for a separate valve to manage airflow at idle. So if you have a newer vehicle, it may not have an idle air control valve at all, and the computer handles the airflow differently. Symptoms of a bad idle air control valve. The most noticeable symptom is erratic idle speed. This could mean the idle is either too high or too low, or the engine might stall out completely. However, as soon as you press the gas pedal, the engine runs fine. This happens because when you accelerate, the throttle body plate opens up and the idle air control valve is no longer used. For example, if you start your car and it idles really low, like around 400 to 500 RPM, and it sometimes stalls but then runs fine once you give it gas, that's a classic symptom of a bad idle air control valve. On the flip side, if the idle is too high and it calms down only after pressing the gas, that could also point to a faulty valve. Another common symptom is getting a check engine light with specific error codes, typically in the range of P0505 to P0509. If you scan the system and see a P0505 code that says idle control system, that's a strong indicator that there's a problem with the idle air control valve. How to fix a bad idle air control valve. So what should you do if you suspect you have a bad idle air control valve? and how can you fix it? First, it's important to check for any intake air or vacuum leaks around the top of the engine. These types of leaks can let extra air into the engine, bypassing the throttle body, and they can cause the same symptoms as a faulty idle air control valve. So, rule that out first. One of the most effective and low-cost fixes is to clean the idle air control valve and throttle body. Over time, carbon buildup can clog the valve or interfere with airflow, leading to performance issues. Use throttle body cleaner, available at any auto parts store. Grab a clean rag and a small brush, like an old toothbrush. Carefully clean around the throttle plate and the valve ports, removing any visible grime or carbon deposits. If your throttle body looks dirty or gummed up inside, a good cleaning can make a big difference. In many cases, this simple maintenance step is all it takes to fix the idle issue. One thing to keep in mind, after cleaning, when you first start the engine, it might run rough for the first few minutes. That's completely normal. The engine needs time to burn off any leftover cleaner. Within a couple of minutes, it should settle down and start running smoothly again. And that's pretty much it. If you've got tips or experiences to share, drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. If this video was useful, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and have a great day.